We are also funded uh, in part by uh, the Netherland American Foundation, by the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs, by the New York Council for the Humanities, um, and by our internal partners, the Provost's Office, the Office of the Dean of Arts and Humanities, Bill McClure, I don't know if you're here, um, by um, the Department of Art, our sister in arms, and by uh, the Friends of the Godwin Turnbach Museum, among whom are my um, board members, who I'm always grateful to, and also our members. So, with that said, I'd like to um, also thank the Kupferberg Center for the Arts, who's an ongoing supporter of all of our efforts, and uh, we are part of the Kupferberg Center, and the new space and amenities that you see here are due to a major renovation that was funded by the Kupferberg Center, and I thank Dee Dee um, Firestone and Vivian, can't see that far with these glasses, Vivian Charlotte for that. Um, so, uh, my, the chair of my board, uh, Margaret Zuschner, um, will say a few more words of thanks. Um, of course, I always want to thank the president and um, Mrs. Meiskins for their ongoing support for all of our programs and um, events. Um, I'd like to point out that there are invitations on the counter for uh, many programs, really exciting programs that we'll be sponsoring um, throughout this show, which ends on the 23rd of March, among which are uh, a lecture here by um, a person uh, from the Esme Quadbach, who is from the Frick Collections Center for Collecting, for the History of Collecting. She will be doing a very interesting talk here on February 21st about New Yorkers collecting Dutch art. And um, we also have, a sh unfortunately, it has already closed out, a talk at the Metropolitan Museum of Art by the chief curator of Northern Painting there, Walter Liebke, for which we are extremely grateful. Um, we will also have, um, we are partnering, I have to thank my partners in uh, this effort of, of other cultural institutions in Queens, among them the Queens Historical Society and the Bound House, um, the Bound Historic House, the meeting, Quaker Friends Meeting House that is over across from Flushing Town Hall on Northern Boulevard. They have helped us a great deal and Donald Friary, who's the consulting chair for the Bound House will be uh, introducing a film, a documentary film about the Dutch in New York. Um, and the, all the dates and times are listed here. Uh, the Queen's Historical Society also contributed with loans and uh, will be running a program for family, uh, family and children. And um, I'd also like to thank Richard Horahan, who can't, couldn't be here tonight, the collection manager at Queen's Historical Society for his help with a text about the history of Queens. Um, and I will be running um, a film series uh, called The Private Lives of the Dutch Old Masters and introducing each of the films with a commentary about where between reality and fiction films lie and how they change our perception of artists or of art. Um, and I think that'll be fun. Um, and it's three classic films, um, one from 1936 with Charles Lawton and um, Elsa Lancaster, uh, one that many of you may have already seen, The Girl with the Pearl Aaron, based on a famous best-selling novel about Vermeer, and one called Rembrandt's J'accuse by a British director named Peter Greenway, who um, has a theory about why Rembrandt's career went south other than the usual comment that he was a bad businessman and spent it. So with that, um, I'd like to say thank you to all of my staff who are just amazing. Elizabeth, uh, Elizabeth White, 
hiding in the back, I imagine. Brita Helgeson, raise your hand, Brita. Raise your hand. And uh, all my interns, my student interns are fantastic, everyone. This whole project has just been fantastic, and I feel like I am the student here as well. The students, I thank, of course, the students who organized this show with Christopher Atkins, and um, they've done a fantastic job, but I'm going to let Christopher say more about that. So after that, we'll hear from, um, after Margaret, Margaret is going to make the comment. Margaret is the chair of my board. She'd like to make a few remarks, and then Christopher, and then President Meiskins, and Provost Stellar. Good evening. On behalf of the Advisory Board of the Godwin Turnback Museum, I'd like to say a couple of things. First of all, congratulations to Christopher Atkins, Professor Atkins, and the students, and to the staff of the Godwin Turnback Museum for presenting this remarkable, remarkable exhibition all the works chosen from the collection of the museum. And I am so in awe of students being involved in this kind of experience, what an educational um, powerhouse it is for them to have hands-on and intellectual engagement with these kinds of works of art up close and personal. Congratulations to you all. It is a wonderful job. And I'd also like to echo Amy's thanks to all of those who support the effort and help make this part of the life of the campus. And thank you all for coming as well. And spread the word. Invite others to come and look at the exhibition too. Thank you very much. This is Christopher Atkins. Uh, thanks, Annie. Thanks, Margaret. It, uh, and thanks to all of you for coming this evening. Uh, this really was uh, an amazing project to be a part of. It was collaborative in every sense of the, uh, the word. And Amy uh, was wonderful. It's amazing what Amy can do uh, here with the museum, the collection here, and ongoing constant changing uh, programs that are really uh, innovative and exciting and uh, put the, the arts at the center of the college. And so that's, thank you very much for that. Uh, Amy. And thanks to everybody uh, who, who uh, funded the, the project to, uh, it, even things that are called from the institution require costs, right? Uh, so it's wonderful to be able to, we have to write labels every time we put on a new show, uh, paint, include our wonderful section headings and all sorts of things. So thank you, thank you, thank you to all the support uh, for the uh, exhibition. This was a, a, a teaching exercise. Uh, I learned as much as Amy said she learned. Uh, so did I. I think we all learned. Uh, or at least we hope that the students learned as well. Maybe just Amy and I were the ones learned. Uh, but we, what we did, we had an exhibition seminar in the fall uh, of MA students, MFA, uh, and MS in Education. And we, as a group, we met every week. As Instead of meeting in the regular classroom all the time, we came to storage and we pulled things. And we looked at the works of art that are here in the collection, and we thought about what do these say? And what do we want them to say? And that's where uh, what you see is about. is about looking at the works of art, learning about them, but then also, as is so central to the mission of the college, how can we give that back? How can students learn uh, uh, it, both for their future, but also in a very real, immediate sense about what can we give back to the communities that are served by uh, this great museum, the college, and hopefully uh, beyond, which was, of course, if you haven't had a chance, make sure you go up. Uh, it's not only on this ground floor. Make sure you see it uh, in the uh, upper registers, the, the upper floor, where we have wonderful sections on the Dutch and popular culture, and, of course, the relationship of Dutch, especially culture, in relationship to not only New York, but here in Queens. Queens, the place where we, we stand now, Flushing, uh, was once flissing in from the old Dutch. Uh, you have things like uh, Long Island, Lange Island, Coney Island, Brooklyn, uh, all sorts of things that we may not always register as being from our Dutch culture. We are in a multicultural center, and one of those is Northern European. Uh, so we hope it to, to, to bring that uh, together as a group. But before, uh, I know I, I, uh, I digress. If the students who are here would please come, I'd like to introduce all of them, because they are really the ones who did all of the hard work. Uh, there are 
unfortunately, there were some who could not make it uh, this evening. We had uh, MA students, Lisa Finger, uh, Lu Ming Chu, and Nak Yong Lee uh, from MFA, uh, Thea uh, Lancicero, MS in Education students, Anthony Biondolillo, uh, Jenna Caputo, Hannah Isolda, Kirsten McCabe, Heather Simon, Stacey Schneider, and Caitlin Tusak. Uh, these are the, the real stars of the show, as wonderful as these works of art are, they are the ones who put this all together. Uh, they, we talked about the organization, they wrote all of the labels. Every word that you see in here was written by them. Uh, we've included their initials, uh, so you can go in to, so they can take proper credit for all the hard work that they, uh, they did. Uh, so, once again, thanks to all of you. will be online in a catalog, an online catalog that will be accessible on the Godwin Turnbach Museum website with a click. So all you have to do is go Google Godwin Turnbach Museum and you will be able to read the catalog which will be linked to the website. Knowing that it's not easy to stand and read so much. <laughs> okay. Um, President Meiskens, would you like to say a few words? Yes, stay right here, students. Come on. <laughs> this is what a teaching museum is all about. I am so proud of what happens here. And those of you who have been coming to these openings year after year, you see the change every time? This is Dutch now. <laughs> I feel really at home. <laughs> I happen to be of Dutch heritage myself, and this wonderful piece right here has been in my office. And so, I miss it. But now you all get to share it. Uh, Amy, thanks for all you. Thanks to your team. Thanks to all the people who were mentioned. Uh, and thanks to all of you for coming. Uh, this is what Queens College wants to do, to share our treasures, our wealth with the entire community. So, with that, I won't repeat everything everyone else said except thank you to you students. You make us really look good. <laughs> and now I think we'll have the provost say something. Well, I don't think I can add much to what the president says except to say again, we really appreciate the wonderful alliance between faculty, students, and the institution. It just doesn't get any better than that. So thank you, students and faculty, and thank you, institution, and the supporters. Okay, and one more thanks I would like to give is to, um, there is a small note at the introduction about preservation, which I want to bring to your attention, about the necessity for preservation so that we can continue to show these treasures to people generation after generation. They were donated, everything in this collection has been donated by alumni and friends. And to, in order to preserve them, we have to be very careful. That's, you know, the root of the term curator, to cure, to take care of. And many of these works have been um, treated by our resident, or our consulting, I should say, curator, Alex Catlin. Um, almost all the works, all the paintings, save a few in this show, paintings, he's a specialist in painting uh, conservation, uh, have been um, treated by Alex Catlin, and we're very grateful to him for his good work. And um, want you to understand the critical, criticality of preservation um, and how important it is to preserve these, these things for uh, students and for public education. So, with that said, you can read the uh, little text in the background. We've had funding from uh, generous um, federal, state, local funders uh, but we always appreciate whatever support is uh, possible from all of you for not only our presentations, but for preservation as well. Thank you so much.